Hello children, I am Shubhajit and welcome back. Previously, you have learnt about human eye, their defects and their corrections. Now without getting late, let us gather some information on atmospheric refraction and scattering of light. Learning Outcomes At the end of this session, you will be able to understand about dispersion of white light by a prism, atmospheric refraction, twinkling of stars, advanced sunrise and delayed sunset, scattering of light, Tyndall effect, reason for the blue color of the sky, reason for the red color of the sun during sunrise and sunset. Keywords Prism Dispersion Separation of white light into colors Rainbow Atmospheric refraction Twinkling of stars scattering, going in various directions, Tyndall effect, before starting the session, let us look at this concept map. Let us understand the dispersion of white light by a prism by considering an activity. Take a thick sheet of cardboard and make a small hole in its middle. Allow sunlight to fall on this small hole. This gives a narrow beam of white light. Now, take a glass prism and allow the light from the slit to fall on one of its faces and adjust lightly until the light that is coming out of it appears on a nearby screen. You will observe a beautiful band of colors. The prism has probably split the incident white light into a band of colors. This splitting of light into its component colors is called dispersion. The various colors seen are violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. Vibgior. This is because different colors of light bend through different angles with respect to the incident ray as they pass through a prism. The red light bends the least while the violet the most. Thus, the rays of each color emerge along different paths and thus become distinct. Isaac Newton was the first to use a glass prism to obtain the spectrum of sunlight. Any light that gives a spectrum similar to that of sunlight is often referred to as a white light. A rainbow is a natural spectrum appearing in the sky after a rain showers. It is caused by the dispersion of sunlight by tiny water droplets present in the atmosphere. 
a rainbow is always formed in a direction opposite the sun. The water droplets act like small prisms. They refract and disperse the incident sunlight then reflect it internally and finally refract it again when it comes out of the raindrop. Due to the dispersion of light and internal reflection, different colors reach the observer's eye. Refraction of light due to different layers of atmosphere is called atmospheric refraction. You might have observed that apparent random wavering or flickering blurry of object seen through a turbulent steam of hot air rising above a fire. In the atmosphere, the layers of air have different optical densities. It means that different layers of air have different refractive indices. The air just above the fire becomes hotter than the air further up. The hotter air is lighter, less dense than the cooler air above it and has a refractive index slightly less than that of the cooler air. Since the physical conditions of the refractive medium air are not stationary, the object's apparent position as seen through the hot air fluctuates. This wavering is thus an effect of atmospheric refraction. The twinkling of a star is due to atmospheric refraction of starlight. The starlight on entering the earth's atmosphere undergoes refraction continuously before it reaches the earth. The atmospheric refraction occurs in a medium of gradually changing refractive index. Since the atmosphere bends starlight towards normal, the apparent position of the star is slightly different from its actual position. The star appears slightly above its actual position when viewed near the horizon. Further, this apparent position of the star is not stationary but keeps on changing slightly since the physical conditions of the earth's atmosphere are not stationary. The stars appear as tiny points of light due to their great distance. As the path of rays of light coming from the star goes varying slightly, the apparent position of the star fluctuates and the amount of starlight entering the eye flickers. The star sometimes appears brighter and at some other time fainter, which is the twinkling effect. The sun is visible to us about 2 minutes before the actual sunrise and about 2 minutes after the actual sunset because of atmospheric refraction. By actual sunrise, we mean the actual crossing of the horizon by the sun. Before sunrise, the sun is below the horizon. Sun's rays are coming from more dense air towards less dense air. This causes sun rays to refract and appear to come above the horizon. Our eyes see sun rays as a straight line. It appears to us that the sun has risen but it has actually not yet risen. After sunset, the sun is below the horizon. 
sun's rays are coming from more dense air towards less dense air. This causes sun rays to refract and appear to come above the horizon. From our eyes, it appears to us that the sun has not yet set. The apparent flattening of the sun's disk at sunrise and sunset is also due to the atmospheric refraction. When sunlight enters the earth atmosphere, the atoms and molecules of different gases present in the atmosphere refract the light in all possible directions. This is called a scattering of light. The effect of light on a molecule or an atom depends on the size of the atom or molecule. If the size of the particle is small, it will be affected by higher frequency light and vice versa. The earth's atmosphere is a heterogeneous mixture of minute particles. These particles include smoke, tiny water droplets, suspended particles of dust and molecules of air. When a beam of light strikes such fine particles, the path of the beam becomes visible. The light reaches us after being reflected by these particles. The phenomenon of scattering of light by the colloidal particles gives rise to the Tyndall effect. This phenomenon is seen when a fine beam of sunlight enters a smoke filled room through a small hole. Thus, the scattering of light makes the particles visible. The Tyndall effect can also be observed when sunlight passes through the canopy of a dense forest. Here, tiny water droplets in the mist scatter light. The molecules of air and other fine particles in the atmosphere are smaller than the wavelength of visible light. These are more effective in scattering light of shorter wavelength at the blue end than light of longer wavelength at the red end. The red light has a wavelength about 1.8 times greater than blue light. Thus, when sunlight passes through the atmosphere, the fine particles in the air scatter the blue color more strongly than red. The scattered blue light enters our eyes. The atmosphere contains free molecules and atoms of different sizes. Molecules having a size that is comparable to the wavelength of red light and less in the atmosphere. Hence, scattering of red light is less when compared to the other colors of light. The light from the sun needs to travel more distance in the atmosphere during sunrise and sunset to reach your eye. In morning and evening times during sunrise and sunset, except red light, all colors scatter more and vanish before they reach you. Since the scattering of red light is very small, it reaches you. As a result, the sun appears red during sunrise and sunset. Points to remember, the splitting of light into its component colors is called dispersion. The refraction of light due to different layers of the atmosphere 
is called atmospheric refraction. The twinkling of a star is due to atmospheric refraction of sunlight. When sunlight enters the earth's atmosphere, the atoms and molecules of different gases present in the atmosphere refract the light in all possible directions. This is called a scattering of light. The phenomenon of scattering of light by the colloidal particles is called the Tyndall effect. Scattering of light causes the blue color of the sky and red color of the sun during sunrise and sunset. Thank you for watching the video.